Okay, so welcome to a new video. Now this is another video about the new math worksheet generator software that you've probably heard so much about on YouTube the last few days. So before I start, if you've picked up that software from me, make sure that you email me with your receipt because the bonus area that I'm creating will be live in a few days time and I need your email to give you access to that area so that you can check out all the bonuses that I have to offer. So those bonuses being the case study videos about how I created a book using this app and uploaded it onto Amazon and started seeing sales with it. So the other bonus being the monthly updates to that members area with suggestions on how to use the app in a creative way so that we all don't just create the same boring books. So if you've seen any videos on the software and you still need some clarity on the pricing structure and features, check out the videos in the description below. So good news, KDP is now officially saturated with math workbooks. We did it. We took the only niche with no competition and we flooded it overnight because of the math worksheet generator software. It's time for us now to go back to our super unsaturated niches of coloring books, activity books, children's storybooks, notebooks, journals, and weird romantic werewolf stories. Okay, heavy sarcasm aside, I've been lurking around the comments and the forums after the release of the math generator software. And while the response has been extremely good, it's obviously raised a few eyebrows regarding the concern that the software will contribute to the saturation of this market on Amazon, typically what people are calling flooding the marketplace. So don't get me wrong, I understand that concern. If an app like this exists, more people are going to be publishing books from using it. And that is correct. So if you've seen this software being used and you cannot think of more than one way to position your book on Amazon from using that software other than a mass workbook, then you should probably stop publishing in all niches. So when people say this niche is saturated, what niche are people referring to? The software does not target a specific niche. It puts numbers onto pages in a way that you determine. It's then for you to decide how that is presented onto Amazon or Etsy or wherever you're trying to sell it. So let's go ahead and just use around 5% of our brain power here to think of some different ways that we can target this niche so just going through the software here randomly creating a few things how about this how about a summer workbook of missing digit equations for kids ages four to eight how about a double digit missing number workbook for third graders how about an addition and subtraction workbook for smart kids how about a math activity book for adults how about an addition subtraction and multiplication only workbook how about a missing digit division book for fourth graders how about the ultimate math workbook with over 20,000 equations how about a timed decimal and percentages workbook how about a timed division and multiplication workbook how about a timed subtraction workbook how about a timed addition workbook for second graders how about a long division workbook for fourth graders how about we make a my first problem solving book for kindergartners how about a double and triple digit only math workbook how about we target the uk audience instead how about we become the first book with a beautiful cover that targets long division for third graders. How about we make a time-telling workbook with missing clock hands? How about we make a time-telling workbook that includes percentages and fractions? How about we make a time-telling workbook and combine it with story elements? How about we make advanced time-telling workbooks where the hands are shorter on the clocks? How about we create our books in color? How about we create a very generic addition and subtraction workbook, but just position it smarter on Amazon? Yes, that's exactly what I did with my book here. And now how about we create the best book that we can in these niches? Now how about we research our target audience correctly before throwing the book on Amazon? And now how about we run a few ads to those books as well? And now how about we create some A plus content for those books? And now how about we do all this again and sell these on Etsy as printables? And that's just a percentage of the possibilities here. If you can still only see this as one niche and one audience, it is time to stop. You can target this area on Amazon in so many different ways and the buyer traffic will always be there for this type of book. So now let's take our well-researched, beautifully created, well-marketed, unique book and pair them up against the people that are gonna abuse the software and bulk upload 500 books the first month that they get it. So this is the same thing, but on a lesser scale where people are whipping together random graphics from Creative Fabrica and Canva, gluing them together into a shoddy coloring book and expecting them to make sales. Good, I say. I say let the lazy publishers keep publishing. It is one of my favorite things hearing about people who have uploaded 500, 500 coloring books onto Amazon and have made one sale for the effort. I love it because I will go ahead and create something worthwhile and continue to make sales with much less books than that. And let me tell you something, you know when you search through Amazon for something like coloring books and only the good books show up on the first page? That's because Amazon does a damn good job of filtering out these bad books that no one wants. Amazon is a multi-billion gazillion whatever dollar company and their algorithm will never allow bad books to stick around for too long. 
So for this niche to be flooded, you're making the absurd suggestion that people will be creating enough books of immense quality that target every single audience within this niche to the point where those audiences are flooded with books. For this to happen, I think you would need probably 20 million books. So when people say this niche is flooded now, what niche are you referring to? What is the audience you are referring to? If it's a book with numbers in it, then yes, you're right. That is very, very competitive, but it's just like books that have words in them. That is also very competitive. The reality is with the math worksheet generator app is that it just puts numbers onto pages for you. It does not produce books in best selling niches for you. It is a tool, it is a resource just like Canva, just like Photoshop, Creative Fabrica, etc. etc. I can assure you that books with numbers in them are certainly not a new concept on Amazon, I assure you, and they are not short of them either. But you are writing saying that if everyone does the same thing, if everyone continues to create thoughtless books, then no one will make sales. You're right there. But that's no different from coloring books, activity books, notebooks, any type of book on Amazon. If you offer the bare minimum, that's exactly what you can expect back in sales. So for people to think there is only one type of audience that you can target here, I would go the complete other way and suggest that there is more flexibility and creativity here than any other type of niche, including coloring books, activity books, journals, etc., etc. And I've also seen people saying that the only way that you're going to make sales in this niche now is by having a price war with other sellers. And that is not how selling on KDP works. You determine what your book is worth. This is not eBay where we have to keep dropping our prices because we all found the same wholesaler. So if your thoughts on this app are that this is something where you can just press some buttons, upload it onto Amazon and make some money, don't buy it. Don't buy it from my link anyway. If your intentions are to upload hundreds of thoughtless books onto Amazon, don't waste your time, don't buy it, don't buy it from my link. So if your book creation process looks something like this. Okay, so Chris says this new math worksheet generator software is good. A lot of people are saying you can make a lot of money by selling math workbooks on Amazon. So let's try it out then. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have these equations in here and I can clone this page 90 times. Okay, that's excellent. So I think that's the interior of my book done. That's absolutely fine. And I think, I think it's probably a good idea that I just put a cover together for my book. Um, Canva is usually my go-to option when it comes to creating uh, book covers. So title done. And Chris always says he likes to use the interiors on on the front of his cover. So I'll put mine onto mine as well. And I think that's maybe missing a little bit of color. Yeah, okay, I, th I think that's ready. So I, th I think that's ready to go up on Amazon. And, and if this doesn't make me any sales in the first few days, I will come back to these YouTube videos and I will leave a comment saying that the software doesn't work. So if this is your thought process, do not buy the software. But if you are the creative type to some extent, then I do think this app is a wonderful opportunity to assist you in creating some fantastic books for Amazon's customers. So let me tell you what my process has been when it comes to publishing. And this pretty much hasn't changed that much over the last 10 years. So you determine the broad niche has buyer traffic going to it. You find a way to target a more specific section of that audience. You make sure you understand what customers in that niche want. You find a way to add value to that book. You use whatever resources you have to create the book, in this case, the math software, and then you market that book on Amazon. So that's the basics of it. And, and I can guarantee if you take this approach, you will significantly increase your chances of making sales over doing the bare minimum. Now, obviously it's not 100% guaranteed, why would it be? But we're never gonna make sales with 100% of the books that we create. So this process is pretty much exactly what you're gonna find in the case study bonus that I offer if you buy the software through my channel. You're gonna be able to take a real look into how I published a book onto Amazon using the software combined with the above mentality toward publishing. And the other bonus I recently decided to include to make absolutely sure that the people who put their trust and faith into me and my channel is that I will be updating that area frequently with new book ideas, creative ways to use the software, thoughts on how to keep adding value to our book, new ad campaign strategies, and more. And this is something I've decided to commit to for at least the next three months so that we can all continue to stay motivated with publishing and avoid creating books that have no chance of making sales. So if you want to check out the software, there are going to be links in the description below. If you need clarity on the pricing structure, etc., etc., it's all going to be in the description. Just go check it out. And do keep in mind after the 25th of July, the prices will go back up. So that's it for today. See you in another video very soon.